Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Think I Spray for Desserts. Today I wanted to share with you this Indakis Swimming and Some Water sort of idea. So I'm just going to start with putting some flour to the table so my cookies don't stick in there. And I'm going to be working with some sugar cookie dough. I do have a recipe in my channel if you want to check it out. Super simple and easy. And I'm just going to be taking my rolling pin with some space band uh, things in there. I do have to drill on this one as well because I made it myself. And you want to, you know, have all your cookies the same, the same thickness. I'm just going to take my round cookie cutter and this is just it's one of those cookie cutters that come in, in packages. Sometimes it helps to you know, have something like a kitchen knife to help you with those. I'm going to just be first working on the outline and then the filling. And I'm using an icing that I do have to try on. It's on my channel if you want to check it out. It's a 15 consistency icing and I guess I'm using it on a Ziploc bag. And you want to work somewhat fast with real icing because it doesn't really matter the recipe you use. It dries in general super fast. So keep that in mind. Then I'm just going to work with my stripe tool. And I'm just using this one that I, I have tutorial on this one as well. It's going to be below. Just get rid of any air bubbles. So I'm just going to keep on doing this because I want this to kind of dry with a bit of, you know, dab movement that I'm doing. I don't want it to dry all flat. I want it to give it the illusion that this is water. Not too much though because, because if I do that it's going to dry funky. Then once this is dry I'm going to be taking my jello. The jello dot will be like that face, so just apply as many ducks as you want in your cookie. And then I'm going to just let this cross again. Then I'm going to be taking my orange and I'm going to be putting the peaks in there. Any direction you want your duckies to be looking at. Okay, then I took some almond extract and some black food coloring and I just mixed it in and I'm using this, this brush. So I'm just going to take a small tiny bit of that black color like this you don't need much at all so I'm just going to go and first draw a dot then some eyes like closed eyes you can use markers as well but I just felt like using this for now and then I'm going to be taking what's left on my blue she's almost nothing and I'm just going to add kind of dots here and there simulating bubbles then I'm going to go with my scrub tool and just going to kind of push them a bit towards the cookie and then I'm just going to wait for them to I'm dry going to be some... taking again some white gel food coloring and mix it this in with some almond extract and I'm going to grab a small amount of like this and then kind of remove the excess on the top of my bubbles kind of making the illusion that you know there is the shine or there is the, the effect of the bubble and as you can see I'm just going like Kind of like a C shape or something. Like I'm going to make the circle but not all the way to the you know corner if it makes any sense. Because this is going to be my duck's face. Using 15 consistency icing so I'm just going to smooth this. You can put it the face in the center, you can put it like this. The next one is going to be kind of more in the middle. This other face is going to be like like this one. Okay, then I'm going to be taking my orange one and I'm just going to draw at the peaks of my duckies by just adding triangle. Then arrange the whole thing and you just want to make sure your Jello icing is dry, otherwise it's going to blend. The direction of your ducky of your ducky depends on your personal taste. And mine is kind of like this. This one is going to be different, a bit different. I'm just going to go and put my with my icing. And then I'm just going to wait for this to dry. Okay, since I have this thing right here, that's a mistake. I'm going to just put the line in here, which is pretending to be water. So I'm just going to go and make those kind of splashes or something. And this, this is just to, to cover that mistake that I made. Thinner piping tip. This is splashing. 
like like that this one is going to be one wide open I'm just going to go with black painting it like that okay go with the lashes it looks like she's wearing fake lashes Maybe one more I took some pink and some almond extract as well I just took this weird brush that I made I just cut it after the bubbles I decided to go ahead and use the same technique in the same everything pretty much to just add some some interest or some depth to this one kind of making the illusion that again this is water painters will know better will know how to apply this correctly and then just have to wait for the whole thing to dry this idea was born because a couple of months back I made this nail art just so you can see where this comes from if you're into nail art I would recommend you to check that out but just so you know so let me know which one of these designs you like the most if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff I'll talk to you next Friday for the next Thank God is Friday for dessert thank you for watching and take care bye guys